Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will automate the Contoso employment process. I've already done a list that contains all of the information that needs to be gathered for employees. I've created a list here in the HR site that contains those. This is the employees list there. Now I want to create the tasks that are needed to be done for the different positions. So I have management, finance, and production, and there are different things that needs to be prepared before a new employee joins. So we're going to do that using Flow. So I'm going to go to flowmicrosoft.com, and now we're going to create a flow that does all the automation. So let's go into my flows and click on create from blank. And I'm going to insist to create from blank by clicking again. And we're working with the SharePoint trigger. We want to start the flow when an item is created. So that's the one we're going to be using. So we're going to be using this HR site. So I'm going to copy that link. And actually, we'll be using that quite a bit. So let's put that in Notepad. And then we want the task to be created here in this workflow tasks list. So I'm going to be typing that quite a bit also. So I'm going to be copy, have that here in Notepad so I can use that. All right, let's move on to my flow. And of course, the site address that I want to be using is the HR site. So I'm going to enter a custom value there. Uh, just copy and paste that. Um, so we want the items in the employees list. That's the trigger. But we're going to be creating items in the workflow task soon. The new step, of course, is to create a condition to check position. And now this is a tricky bit here because if you scroll down, you find a position and it's, of course, very tempting to use that one. But the one you actually want is the position value. The position is only the number of the item you've selected in the choice field. So you want the position value. And that, of course, should be equal to management. And then if that is yes, then we're going to do those things. If, if it's no, then we're going to add another condition. So if it's um, same position value, again, position value, if that equals is equal to, and then we put in finance, and of course, if no, then their production, so that those are the actions that will be there. So we have three positions now to put actions, so that's what we're going to do next. So let's put the actions here. And we're going to create new items in SharePoint. And we're going to do that in this site, the HR site. That's one of the beauties of a flow that can actually be on another site. So we want to use the list name here, the workflow tasks. There we go. And there's a space too much. Now, here we go. That's it. So now we are, of course, here in management, the new management employee. And we'll just do computer form. And then we will put the um, first name and the last name. So that's the first task. We add another one. Again, we want to create an item. There we go, create item. The HR site. So if this is getting boring, you can scroll ahead to the end, of course, when I actually test this, and you'll see the end results. But this is the basically all the steps that I'm entering here. There we go, workflow tasks. And I have space too much, there we go. Task name, I have in management, they should have a visa. All right, second one done. And then create the third item. Regretfully, so far, Flow does not yet have a copy item or a copy action, which would be really nice in this case. So you have to do this over and over again, but I'm sure that's coming. And actually I saw a response in a forum about that, that they are working on it. 
eventually you won't have to do this over and over again. Let's just remove that space so we don't do that mistake again over and over again. And the final one is private office. So we're doing seven of these, seven of these tasks. We're at three down and four to go. So we have the three management tasks there. Now we're moving into the finance tasks. So those are two of those. And they should have a computer. Enter custom value, that's what we want to do. There we go. There we go. So that would be their computer. And then they want a desk. Enter custom value, paste that in. SharePoint list name, enter custom value, and paste that in. All right. So now we're done with the finance um, tasks there. And finally, we just have two for the production team also. So let's do those also. Enter custom value. Enter custom value. All right, so there's the tablet for the production employees. All right, and the seventh one finally had an action there. There we go. And finally, it's the protection gear. All right, so let's uh, test those things. First, we save it, of course. I forgot one task name. What was this one? This was the um, desk. Good that you get that warning if I forget something. And then we have the last name there. All right, let's save. Now it all looks good. And we will, let's saving. Took a few seconds, but now it's done. Let's change the name here. New employee tasks. And let's test this thing now. Save again and test. And I'll perform the trigger action. And of course, the trigger action is to create a new item in this list. So save and test. Go to my employees list. Create a new item. Colin. Colin. Uh, phone number. And let's make him a production then. Or let's make him finance, actually. So we should get two tasks. And let's save that. There we go. Let's go into the workflow tasks. And there's nothing yet. So let's see now the round successfully. Let's see. Let's refresh this page. And we have computer and desk. That was what the finance team was about to get. Yes, that's correct. So the flow is running and we're done. We in my flows now we have a running and working flow that handles the assignment of tasks for new employees according to the specification that we had. Thank you for watching this demonstration.